Hi, everyone. I am so excited to be with you this morning. Uh, my name is Senator Pete Senator of You now. Just doing a sound check, making sure the audio is working, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Do I have audio? All right, sorry y'all. Is the audio working now? All right, so Just doing an audio check real fast and we'll get started. You sound good. That was so weird that it worked before we went live and then it stopped. Yeah, but you sound good now. So whenever you're ready, we can start. Okay, I'm ready. All right. 
Hi, everyone. Thank you for sticking with us. If you're watching us live, just having a little bit of audio difficulties. Hi. So excited to have you all with me today. I am State Senator Faith Winter out in Colorado, also the National Training Director for Vote Run Lead. I've been working with Vote Run Lead for a long time and have been training women to run for office for over 15 years. And today, I'm really excited to have you join me to talk about making the best possible Get Out the Vote script. Uh, it's important to recognize that GOTV, Get Out the Vote, is different than persuasion campaigning. And we're going to talk about how to switch your script over to get ready to get out the vote. Because get out the vote is so incredibly important. The people that vote this year are going to influence such massive decisions. And the people that are going to win are going to be the people that show up and get their voice heard. Which means we need you. Vote Run Lead, we need all the women that are involved with us to go get all their friends and family and communities out to vote. And that takes an exceptional GOTV Get Out the Vote script. And that's what we're going to go over in the next couple minutes. Um, like I said, this is different than earlier scripts in the campaign. Early on, uh, you're trying to convince voters to care about your candidate or your issue. That's a persuasion script. Now we're going to change over to a get out the vote script, which is very different and motivating voters to actually show up, uh, request a mail-in ballot if that's something you can do in your state, turn in their mail-in ballot if that's something you can do in your state. If your state doesn't have mail-in ballots, to go to the polls, to try and get them to early vote. Um, and if they are going to the polls, to make a plan, to stay in line and make sure their voice is heard. And we know that when women vote, democracy wins. We need your vote we need you to show up and we need you to get everyone in your life that you care about to show up. And so here, we're gonna start doing a GOTV plan. And we have a worksheet online for you. And I highly recommend you use this worksheet. It looks like this. It is called Every Woman's Step-by-Step -Step Plan to Get Out of the Vote. And this is training session number one, template GOTV script. Uh, so the first thing is really super simple. It's your introduction. Right? Voters need to know who you are. My name is Faith Winter, and I am here. And if you are there for yourself, if you're there for a candidate, if you are there for a candidate, I always recommend saying my friend Faith is running, my friend Stacey Abrams is running, um, and I would like you to vote for, and I'm, I'm here representing her. Okay, so you just do your introduction. The next piece is it's really important to do voter self-rationalization. So this is getting the voter to talk. Now, it's not just enough to say, are you planning on voting this year? That's a really closed-ended question that's just yes or no and doesn't really invite conversation between you and the voter. So what we highly recommend is asking the voter on a scale of 1 to 10, how likely are you to vote? And waiting for a response. And if they say 10, say, that's fantastic. Why are you so excited to vote? If they answer 2, then you can say, oh, is there anything I can help you with? Why are you unlikely to vote? And listen to the voter and their reasons, right? You are there to listen to where they are and hopefully encourage them to vote. And that starts with a conversation. So voter self-rationalization, there's a couple different ways you can do it. But like I said, an easy, super easy way is asking them on a scale one to 10, how likely they are to vote. And that begins our conversation. And then next, that conversation is going to lead into why are you voting, right? Why are you motivated to be here? At Vote Run Lead, we strongly believe women should run as they are. And for, that, for us, what that means is you have the skills, the network, the talent, the experience you have right now to run. And we know our democracy works better with diversity of opinions. Well, in this instance, it means that you should vote for whatever reason you're motivated to vote for. And we want your authentic selves in this conversation. So what are some of the things that are motivating you to vote? So for example, one of the things that's motivating me to vote is we have had massive forest fires in the West. I live in Denver. We had really, really bad air quality. My daughter runs cross country. 
and she loves it and she needs it right now, right? We're in a pandemic and she doesn't get outside a lot. She doesn't get to move as much as she used to. And I really need her to be able to do her cross country practices. She's a better person for it. We're a better family for it. And she couldn't go outside and run because her developing lungs would have been harmed. And so I'm voting because I want action on climate change right now. Another reason I'm voting is um, I've worked on paid family leave for the last decade. I don't think women should go back to work two weeks after giving birth. Um, and it's on the ballot in Colorado. I'm so excited to vote for paid family leave. So I want you to write down on your script, why are you excited to vote this year? What issues are motivating you? Why is it so important to vote? And then we have to go from that voter self-rationalization to your story and bridge because people vote when they feel motivated and they like the person and they trust the person asking them to vote. And the way we build relationships with voters is through these two conversations. Oftentimes you'll see GOVT scripts say, are you going to vote? Yes, no. Great, you're voting. What's your plan to vote? This doesn't actually get the voter talking. It doesn't get them motivated. It doesn't get them excited. And it doesn't build that trust between you and them. And so that's why this voter self-rationalization and this what story and why are you voting are so important. And then, okay, so hopefully they're voting, they're excited to vote, you're bonded over why both of you are voting, and now we're going to go into plan making. And this is incredibly important because it breaks down barriers to voting, but also builds an accountability to make sure the voter actually shows up. So what do we mean by plan making? It means how, when, where, and with who are you going to vote, right? And so I am going to vote the day after I get my mail ballot. I'm going to fill out my ballot with my children and my husband and my dad who lives with me. We are going to fold up our ballots. I want to drive it to the drop box that is at 120th and about federal in my neighborhood. That is a plan. And so you want to ask the voter, how are you going to vote? And in a lot of states, there's a lot of different choices. Are they going to request an absentee ballot? If, or is it all mail ballot? If you have an absentee ballot or mail ballot, are you going to mail it in or drop it off? Where are you gonna drop it off? When are you gonna drop it off? If you're mailing it in, what are the deadlines? Make sure that you are providing the information so you have to get in the mail by X date. Do you need stamps? Do you need one or two stamps? Where are you gonna get those stamps? That's part of the plan. If you're voting in person, are you early voting? Are you voting on a Saturday? Are you taking a friend with you? Is your kids going to go? If there's a line, are you gonna bring a camp chair uh, to sit in so that you don't have to stand? Are you gonna bring snacks? If uh, you think there are gonna be long lines, do you need a babysitter? Who's gonna be your babysitter? And then of course, we still wanna keep everyone safe. And so for states where you have to vote in person, are you bringing hand sanitizer? Are you bringing a mask? What are you going to do to socially distant? That is all part of the plan. And you want to make it as specific as possible because that makes the voter visualize actually filling out their ballot, turning in their ballot. And then finally, your last part of the script is some social pressure. Uh, so we know that voting is a public activity that is seen in public records. Um, and we know that social pressure is one of the ways to get people to show up to vote, but also builds an accountability. Uh, and so likely if you're working on a campaign, an issue campaign, candidate campaign, you're going to know when that voter has voted previously. Uh, so one of the things I really like to do is say, you are a reliable voter. You voted in all these elections. I wish we had more leaders like you in our district. So make sure to vote this year. If it's not as reliable voter, you can say, I've noticed you've missed some, some elections. Uh, I really hope you vote this time. Uh, you know, we might be following up with you to see what your experience was like. Um, so indicating some soft social pressure um, that says everyone's voting, you don't wanna be left out, and we know if you show up. Um, and so you add in that one more reason for people to vote. Um, and so that is how you create an amazing, incredible GOTV script that is going to turn out women across the country, your friends and family across the country, and really make sure that we're participating in democracy. Um, and so again, uh, and on your worksheet 
it says phrases to consider. So this is from our friends, the Analyst Institute. They do research on the best phrases. And so we kind of give you a cheat sheet in those phrases. And you'll see that I used a lot of those. Public records show you voted in the last election. Um, you're a consistent and reliable voter. Um, and so these are different ways that you can add in social pressure. Um, but really treat this like a conversation. This isn't about a 10 second call reminding people to vote. Because if you are going through self-rationalization, sharing your story and doing plan making, these are deep conversations and they should be because that's what it is actually gonna take to turn out the voters that we need for democracy this year. So thank you so much for joining Vote Run Lead. Thank you for joining me. We hope that this um, sheet, this worksheet is successful. If you have any questions or you want me to review your GOTV script, I am more than happy to do so. You can reach me at faith at voterunlead.org. Thanks everyone. I hope you have a great day and go and get out the vote.